Hi everybody, I'm your host Graham Kay. Today we're gonna figure out the weirdest political campaigns in American history. Jonathan the Impaler Sharky. He's a professional wrestler and a vampire. He only drinks his girlfriend's blood and his mistress's blood. So you know where he stands on like women's rights. Uh -huh. good for fucking and sucking. I know it's a cliche, but I have to throw Mike Tyson out there. He's repeatedly denying rape allegations. If you're denying rape, don't get a tribal tattoo and no. don't put it on your face. <laughs> How nerve wracking would, would that be? Tattooing Mike Tyson's face. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Yeah. You won't be nervous? No. Hey man, why are you shitting? Why are you pissing and shitting? Why are you tattooing me, man? It's a no-brainer. The worst celebrity tattoo of all time is Chris Brown. Chris Brown actually has Rihanna's face on his neck, but it's beat up, battered Rihanna. If your history is beating women, I don't think a beat up woman is a very good choice to put on display. Who is the most racist cop of all time? There's so many to choose from. Mm, this is very, this is, this is, this is very, it's a very good question. Fuck the police. Ultimate racist cop, Robocop. Oh. He was probably built by Koreans, who we all know. Minority, so. <laughs> Any of the Spanish influenced Asians. <laughs> Did you know that uh, that Robocop no, I'm is racist? Brazilian. Yeah. I don't speak English. Do you think police are worse in Brazil or here? I don't understand you. I think they're worse in Brazil. Maricopa County Sheriff <laughs> Joe Arpaio. <laughs> it's in Arizona. They have a law that says you can pull somebody over if they look illegal. Guess who was behind that one? Joe Arpaio. Congratulations, Joe Arpaio. You're the most racist cop of all time. <laughs> Sorry, RoboCop. <laughs> <laughs>